fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It's the same man where I go Every time I look G It's all a bunch of offended up type pussies Society wears your balls Political correctness then turns you soft It's like you can't even tell a joke These damn days it's like a good joke Some floppy dildo you pussies can't take Just get ready okay The shit talking cunts don't give a fuck What your gender or race, gender or race. So bitch you're pissed off of what Use a pussy and list the shit talking cunts on so bitch, you're pissed off with what? Cause he's a pussy and this the shit talking cunts on. Rubs a ball! For shit talking cunts podcast. With your host, Irish O'Neill. And overtime often. Sit back, spark up, and enjoy. What's up, you bad motherfuckers? It's time for the Shit Talking Cunts podcast. We back in this motherfucker. I'm your host, Irish O'Neill, my lovely co host, Overtime Often. And, you know me, uh, I stay lovely. Yeah, dude, we're, uh, we're just chilling. We were going to do the episode last night. We had a guest, but like, it was fucking super late and just we weren't feeling it. So he said, fuck it, we can get together and just do this, do a quick little Shit Talking Cunts, little cunt classic. Uh, dude, I've been fucking. We were just talking about it before we started, like right before we hit start. I had to take no. a mess. You know, you, know, you don't want. To, I, I had to take a shit like real bad. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, no, I have a feeling. I because I did mushrooms like the other night, but I didn't really feel anything. Uh, and like I woke up the next morning and just, I mean, I, it felt like it wanted to come out both ends, but thankfully it just came out of my ass. Uh, and then like today I've shit like three times already. Right. I mean, it was like a flash surge just a moment ago. It was like I was, I was like, okay, I'm ready to go, and I was like, huh, let me not play butt roulette. And I went to the bathroom, just rah, and then like. A lot more, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> mm. and uh, but then I felt good, and then you had to go right before we started. So I think that's actually a good omen that we both shit before we started. Did you have to put that message out to, uh, out into the world that I had to go before the show started? I didn't have to do it, but I I said my story, and then like I felt like I was oh. robbing the people of the truth if they didn't know that you also pooped. Hmm. You know, sometimes you just gotta expel. The I fucking just, thing. I just, I just want people to think I'm like an Asian woman. I don't poop at all. You know what I'm saying? Do people think Asian women don't poop? They probably don't. Well, I know they they do that weird thing where they like squat over holes to piss or something, right? I assume they also shit like that. I've never seen one of those toilets actually in person where it's like the the fucking hole in the ground. And you just get a squat over it. I'm just imagining now a cute Chinese pale chick just her <laughs> eyes just being crossed just kind of <laughs> squeeze one out <laughs> just you know katsu i take a shit <laughs> so now yeah. what is the, like so that's the thing with those things right where it's like it's just a fucking hole in the ground that they squat over do they because there's like you never see toilet paper Right, like you never see a toilet paper roll. So, like, are are they just like perfectly flash? okay with that? I'm getting a, I'm getting some water from the fridge, but I'm perfectly okay with that, folks. Just pissing into the fucking and shitting into a hole. I, I mean, I think I am too. I mean, I, I'm curious how that. Uh, that's probably why there's honestly, I bet there's why there's not a ton of fat Asian people because you have to squat to shit. So it's like you inherently have to work out every time you shit or piss. So oh, there's fat. No, there's fatties out there. I've seen them. Yeah, but like, how are, them, how are they? Are, so, Kung Fu hustle. are they like, the, Kung Fu oh, hustle. yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, so like a guy like that, then is he the reason that, like, like, is a fat guy in all the Jackie Chan movies is like a really good fighter? But like, how does he shit accurately? You know what I'm saying? Like, because if he's got to squat all the way down, that's killing his knees, first of all. He's like, let's even just say he gets in, like, you know, he's just squatted down like that. He's literally like, he's, it's only his feet touching the ground. He's just squatted down, he's shitting. It's like, first of all, how does he know he's hitting the hole correctly? Like, do they just like smear and miss and then somebody comes in with a squeegee after is <laughs> like, that's question one. Question two is it's like, okay, so you shit. There's no toilet paper around. Like, or do they have like fucking some bidet action outside? Like, how, how do they, how do they effectively clean their asshole is my question, because I don't see toilet paper and they're not going to throw the toilet paper down in the hole. So, okay, that's out. But like, any like 
photos I've seen of like one of those toilets, there's not like a bidet like right there. And even if there was, that would be weird if you had to like squat shit piss, then get up and like hubble walk over to a bidet to then like rinse and wash your asshole. That just kind of see like then I'm just gonna be caking and smearing poop between my butt cheeks. Oh. Like, like it just oh. doesn't I just don't understand how Asians poop. It doesn't add up. I, not, none of it adds up, dude. They're kung fu masters. They're good at math, but like, how do they clean their asshole? I want to know. It's a it's a legendary dragon's journey. <laughs> when you can grab the grasshopper from my hand, then you will know the secret to how Asian shit. Mm-hmm. God damn it! So yeah, I've been shitting my brains out, but other than that, it's been pretty good. We just had Sam Buck here. He did his little like. I just had Sam Buck. I didn't have Sam Buck there. Yeah, well, we, we had Sam Buck here uh, in New York. He did his uh, Sunday night. We were over at uh, Deuce Ellis' place. He did uh, like a night of comedy and rap. That was pretty dope. Um, I feel like you'd have a fun time on that <laughs> next time. There was like some vendors. Night of comedy and rap doesn't invite a rapper. Fucking guy. What do you mean? Well, I'm he, not nothing. I'm just he had shit. He had rappers already for the first one, but get, a, get you on like the second one or something. He's going to do a bunch of them. I gotta throw this out. Oh, no, I actually leave it right here in the ashtray. You also gotta do this fucking go podcast, outside. but you gotta release some new stuff apparently for you to want to go on there. Yep, I'm actually been look what I've been doing. I've been cutting out my own filters. Let's go. Wow, I'm surprised. Why didn't you want to go on and promote Technodrome and shit? Uh, he asked me after. That was a while after. You still couldn't go produce. I mean, that album's still available. <laughs> yeah, but that shit's a year old. All right. Well, when are you putting something new out, then? Uh, I'm thinking November. November. Damn. Yeah. You out here working, son? So my homie passed away, so I'm thinking a date. But I but I don't have a date specifically yet. But you know, as soon as I do, you'll know. Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking tight. Um, I got in my first Facebook argument in a while the other day. It was over something really retarded. I mean, naturally, there's never really like a. A not retarded argument you get in on Facebook, you know, but um, okay, that person fucking sent me a stupid message, all right. Um, so it was basically over, uh, it was like an Assassin's Creed, but it was a get, get ready for the nerd alert, everyone. It was a big argument over like Assassin's Creed, and someone was like, someone posted basically saying that the most recent Assassin's Creed games like wipe the floor with the originals, which I just thought was so retarded because. I mean, I don't know if you're a big Assassin's Creed guy or if you played the games much, but the original games all like focused around like this plot between, you know, uh, the Assassins and the Templars and they're vying for fucking control and balance and blah, 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 blah. You're an assassin. You're doing all the stealth shit, right? Like it's it's very heavily around this idea that you're an assassin, which let's face it, is a, is a stealthy role. You know, you could be, I mean, hey, you could be a boisterous assassin and run right in the front door, I guess. But that's not really what I or most people think of when they think of an assassin. They think of like, you know, an elusive, sneaky motherfucker that's going in, fucking killing someone high profile and getting out unscathed. Now, the last three Assassin's Creed games, I'll agree. They have been really fun. They're good games. But was it the last one like on a boat? Well, so like the most recent three ones, they had Origins, which took place in Egypt. Then they had Odyssey, which took place in Greece. And then the current one, which I'm playing right now, is Valhalla, which obviously takes place in like, you know, Scandinavia slash England. So how far apart is the fucking boat one? The pirate ship shit. The, uh, the pirate ship one, that's technically, it's technically Assassin's Creed 4. So it was like, you know, there's Assassin's Creed, there's Assassin's Creed 2, then there's like... uh. I, Damn, like I didn't even know they were on. I, I didn't even know they were on, like on Egypt oh, yeah. or Valhalla or the fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. So like Assassin's Creed Two was like the Ezio series in like Italy. So that was like Assassin's Creed Two Brotherhood Revelations, and then they did Assassin's Creed oh, Three, oh. which was like the Native American in Boston, New York. Then they did Black Flag, which was like you know I think that was around the Caribbean and shit like that. Um, yeah, probably. Probably which 18, which I hated that game at first because yeah I hated that game at first actually because it's like the main character Kenway is like he's not even an assassin he just like finds this assassin and like that dies and just takes his clothes 
So you're just really like masquerading as assassin. So like that game, I was like, fuck this. You're not an assassin. I'm playing as a fucking pirate, dude. Um, oh, so you're pretty much Boba Fett, just lying. Yeah, yeah. So like once I started playing that one as a pirate, it was dope. But like that was great. Okay, and then and then they put out this game Unity, which was like f- the French Revolution, and it was dog shit. That game was so boring. And I mean, most people know I just like I love shitting on the French. They're fucking stupid. But like, I it just really was not a fun game. It was boring as fuck. And I was like, ah, oh, these games suck now. Then they put out, I think it was Syndicate, which was like fucking uh, gangs in New York kind of vibe, but like in London and shit. You're like, you know, doing the whole fucking Cockney British thing. That was dope. That was the first after that many Assassin's Creed games, by the way. First one, they decided to go, hey, let's put a crouch feature in a stealth game. Let's make it so you can crouch down and not be standing all the way up when you're walking around trying to be stealthy. So that was dope. Then they did. Wait, what wait, wait. Can- you said five parts later, they decided to put the crouch feature in there? Dog, it's psychotic. It's psychotic fuck, that it took that many games. Fuck that game. Just off that alone. Fuck it, that series. It's fucking retarded, right? Right? It's fucking so fuck stupid. Fuck that game. Because then, then you're <laughs> you really jump, having to do like... You can clip, jump from tower to tower. But you can't crouch. But you can't crouch. <laughs> or in the original ones, couldn't swim even. Go in water, you dead. You could, you can crouch in the old fucking Jedi Academy shit from like 2003, but you can't couch, can't crouch in a I'm fucking saying. Assassin's Creed game part four. Uh, I'm saying now while Syndicate started adding that crouch feature, they also that's where they started engaging their wokeness by having like, oh, you can play as a dude or a chick. And it's like, OK, and it's like the the concept of assassin's creed is like you put in, you get put in this machine the animus they go through your dna and it's like looking through your dna they can see like your relatives and you can replay you can like live through like through the eyes of your relatives like replay their memories basically okay so if i have my great 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 uncle jim okay why why would he magically it could be uncle jim or if you want it it could be aunt jane like you know what I mean? It's like that doesn't make sense. Like my they and my wasn't I couldn't morph genders in fucking seventeen hundred back and forth like with my physical genitals changing. So like whoever my fucking character was I'm supposed to be playing as dude or a chick, whatever, just fucking pick that. But see, this is the thing: they can't make it just a chick because if they just made it a chick, that would piss off all of the gamers. So they have to do this fucking option thing. Or what they did when Valhalla now is it's like, oh, hey, you can uh. You, you can play as a dude or a chick or you could have it just sw- like they go like, oh, there's a weird glitch in the animus. So like you can have it. So it just it swaps based on whatever they think is like better for the story at that time. And it's like, guys, can you just make it a fucking character? And I play it like, why do we have to have gender faggot shit in this game? It's just a fucking video game. It's just a so you wouldn't game. be so. So you wouldn't be upset if it was just a woman. I, I like I, I hate to sound so sexist, but it's just like I, I in the same way most women probably can't stand a lot of video games because it's male characters and they don't connect with that motherfucker. I don't really connect with a female character. I'm not female. I just I like there you know there's a couple classic games like you know a Laura Croft and shit like that here and there that like I'm like I don't Metroid's know Metroid's a ga- woman. Metroid like you know a couple of them where you just go like ah, the game is good enough I don't give a fuck. But like I it just I if you ask especially how long an Assassin's Creed game. You're asking me, hey, play 300 hours as a female role in a time period where, like, they definitely That's weren't doing some shit like this. It's just like, I can't. I just, I can't. And I get it's a video game, but it's like there is a, a certain level of, like, I mean, you know. to be honest, Joey, they weren't doing shit like this back then with men, period, neither. So, I mean. Well, sure, the yeah. They weren't, like, just... scaling the buildings. Set, but, like, even just on a level of, like, okay, a play. And I, let's use Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla because, it like you know, I used to be a, an even bigger faggot and reenacted Viking stuff. So I have, like, some idea of the historical accuracies. And it's just, like, I mean, this idea that there was a shield maiden or these, like, female warriors, man, it's just that wasn't true. It just wasn't true because if you send all the men off to war and they die and then you also have the women with them fighting alongside, guess what? There's no one to replenish your fucking dead soldiers. There's no one to protect the fucking like, yeah, women knew how to fight with swords and shields in the Viking village because they had to protect the fucking village because it was susceptible to being attacked while the men were away. So, yeah, they needed to know how to fight, but it wasn't like we're on the front lines. I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm talking real life. I'm talking real life in uh, but oh. in in Vike in the in the the Valhalla Assassin's Creed game. Like you'll have these like big boisterous women with like swords and shields and like fighting with you. And it's like that didn't. Yeah, happen. that's the game that wasn't okay. 
and, oh, and no. but but like you see this in like even you know even let's 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 take it away from like a sexist thing right like even the show vikings which is on the goddamn history channel like the clothes they wear aren't even fucking accurate they didn't have like the, they, they have them wear all these like black leather that's like intertwined with like chain mail and it's like that Stop never complaining existed. about that are they really gonna find actual one of ones though like what do you mean one of ones like you know, like Oh, like I, I reenacted. I have the cl like the clothing that I, I would wear when reenacting is what they would wear. And it's actually a simpler outfit that looks better, in my so, opinion, than the so goofy shit they're wearing in Vikings. You created the original outfit or is an actual Viking outfit from back there, then? You, you recreate it. I mean, you, there's there's right, designs, right. there's finds. You it just look has at to it. look better is what you're saying. You Well, I mean, we would uh, down to like, OK, you know, they used linen and they if, used wool. And so it's like, okay, right. it's got to be a hundred, if it's a, you know, something in the summertime or whatever, it's got to be a hundred percent linen. If it's going to be winter, hundred percent wool. And I mean, you could layer that kind of shit, but like you get stuff where like, if you go, even like you go to Joanne's, it's like, you might get, oh, it's 75% linen, 25% polyester. It's like, yeah, we, we didn't do that. It's like, it's gotta be hundred percent linen. Like anything we wore and shit, when we did the reenacting stuff, you had to show like a specific archeology, archeological find where it's like, this shows, this is what they had during that time period. This isn't some fucking... We wouldn't try and pull what some made-up shit where it's like, oh, okay. I've got this piece from the Mediterranean because maybe a Viking traveled down there and traded. It's like, no, dickhead, that didn't happen. Suck a dick. So, so what? So what would you say about the TV show that they got wrong? How well, it's it just them, like what? like everything about it, like the fucking the first of all, the fact that no, when they're in battle, the fact that no one's wearing a helmet, which I get. Hey, Hollywood, we gotta have the actors' faces showing. I'll suspend disbelief for that. But then, like, you look at the outfits they're wearing, they're wearing this, like, black leather intertwined with chain mail and shit like that. And it's just, like, they didn't wear that shit. Oh, okay. and, I, and I get they okay. wanted to do that to make it look dark and grim, but it's, like, you're the fucking history channel. Like, why wouldn't you just make it goddamn accurate? It wouldn't lose any coolness because, like, you've got some green linen tunics and some red and some brown and yellow ones as opposed to everyone just wearing black somehow, which they didn't mm -hmm. have that color. Like... I mean, the tattoo ink they even used was like a fucking dark blue, basically. It wasn't even black. So it's just fucking, I don't know, that little kind of shit. Anyways, it's a long way to get to the point of like, this person was fucking trying to say these new games are better than the original Assassin's Creed games. And in my opinion, the new games, the most recent three, they're not even really Assassin games because they kind of give you this choice like, oh, you could, you could be focused on fighting, on stealth, or on range stuff. And it's like... Yeah, but if you're an assassin dog, you're doing stealth. Like I'm, like you, you can't be an assassin Viking, okay? Like you, like Vikings didn't do stealth shit. We fucking kicked the door in and fucking raped and pillaged. So it's like the the idea that you're gonna be like an assassin stealth Viking is just fucking autistic. And I was trying to explain to this guy, I go, hey, these are great games, but they're not really Assassin's Creed games anymore. They're really just like uh, beautiful epic European uh, RPGs. And then that's when this guy got cunty with me because he didn't really have a point to make beyond that. And he was like, he's like, oh, really? They're European history games. That's why Origins is based in Egypt, which is in Africa. And it's like, buddy, buddy. He, he moved the goalpost on you. He, like, I was I, basically, are we really going to be that nitpicky of a cunt? So I had to draw for him this image. Okay, which is, oh, look at that. There's a circle around Egypt, which is Origins. There's a circle around Odyssey which is this next one and then a circle around norway which is where which is where valhalla starts and stuff hey oh where is most of that triangle in oh it's europe yeah it's europe and and in egypt the one that's in africa oh would you look at that it's not even a hundred miles of fucking water separating it from europe so that person can suck my fucking dick and i'll never get that I mean, time back because i wasted my time arguing with a goddamn I mean, moron about I mean, that 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 part of Europe is technically in Africa, though. You could say that too. Italy, Italy and Spain are in Africa. Greece is. I mean, in you Africa. could say that because because a lot of that southern Mediterranean right there is inspired by Northern Africa. Sure, but you wouldn't say that's Africa. Yeah, that's no, it's, but Greece but, is but, still but, Europe, and but you and, could but you could say, bro, it's separated by a hundred miles of water. That's fucking pretty much Africa. Like, who gives a shit? Sure, but then if you want to extrapolate it farther to the rest of the games, okay, let's include France in there and London and Italy, and it's like the the, the overarching. Like you tell me Africans didn't run that fucking island south of Italy for a fucking while. Of course they did. They fucking Pro just probably, gave it away. But, to they, them. but the game, the you games know? were the games were focused in like Venice and stuff, not like that specific section of Italy. So it's just like primarily like eighty no, percent of these games. No, in that entire triangle. You have a lot. Yeah, you have you have part of Africa, Northern Africa, in there. There's literally just Egypt. 
That's yesterday. still Northern Africa. Uh, no, no, no. I know, but I'm just illustrating. That's the only part of actual Africa that is in this, and 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 probably one of Africa's biggest fucking dynasties back then too. And and then the rest falling in this triangle is like Italy, Germany, Hungary, Serbia, Austria, Czech, Greece, Denmark, Norway, Sweden. It's just I don't know. Like, it, was, it was retarded to me. They're not because they, they just don't focus on the like now in these games. Again. Show me that map again. Show me that map again. Like now in these games, the focus is like like they have like oh here's the guys you need to assassinate, but it's not like the core principle of the game. Yeah. Well, Anyways, I don't know. And th- that guy was a dumb <laughs> asshole. And uh, that was the that was the Fuck most that recent game anyway. Yeah, I mean, this that was the most recent dumb Facebook argument, and it reminded me why. I that Facebook game one time, I think it was like the first title, the first Assassin's Creed. I was like, "Fuck this shit, it's just trash." First, first one was a little rough. It was it was dope when it came out, but I I replayed that original one uh like a month or two ago. It's fucking yeah, it was a bit rough. I can't, man. I can't. I can't deal with those kind of games. I can fuck around with like maybe fucking two D Aladdin, but that's where it stops. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I just like a game like that. It, it it has to be more like immersive for me than that. Just just jumping off buildings and doing side doing side missions for this that and the third. Like that's why I like Grand Theft Auto so much. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I feel you. I feel um, you. it's just a lot more going on, and you know that's why I could always go back to Grand Theft Auto, and I don't have to play something else because there's just so much going on in the shit. You know? Facts. Did you see, by the way, that uh, I believe it's confirmed they're doing a, a remaster and re- they're releasing uh, three Vice City know. and San Andreas, I think, on Switch remastered. On Switch, that's dope, but they need to do a, um, an updated version. Like, everybody's screaming for Grand Theft Auto 6 with a new story and new characters and shit. I just want a Grand Theft Auto with San Andreas, Vice City, I think Liberty that's, City. I think that's what this next one's supposed to be. The next All one's supposed one. to be like you can travel to each of the locations. I don't even need... You know what the new character needs to be? You. Like, you're the new character. Yeah. And you're traveling between all these cities. Give, give them a set name. Like, I don't care if it's a set name. Like, that. that's fine with me. Uh, but, like, I, I do think that it, it that way you can have, like, legit voice acting and be like, hey, John, or whatever the fucking name is. But, yeah, I agree. Like, it should just, you want to make him black, you make him white, woman, whatever it is. Hire like, a woman to do, do the voice acting. That Like, that. I'm fine Hire with that. Hire a man. Do, see the trick is you do what Mass Effect Oof. does. Mass Effect has always been yeah. consistent. It's Commander Shepard. You don't ever really get a first name. It's just Commander Shepard. You choose the beginning of the game. Is it a dude or is it a chick? And then it play. You play it out from there. Isn't and, there a Star Wars game like that too? Uh, which one? I think there's a Star Wars game like that, like the like the MMO or whatever that one is. Oh Please. yeah, which one? I, I, I kind of know what you're talking about, but it, I just like there's a lot of games that do that and it's smart. It's like if you, you can just choose like the person only gets referred to by their last name or something like that. And 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 then it could be whatever gender like it doesn't even matter. Like, you know, what I mean, Commander Commander Johnson Johnson could, as a last name could be man or woman doesn't fucking matter. And then you just write everything to be like that. You get two voice actors. Boom. Done. You could even have two different experiences because then if you do the fucking guy versus girl it's like okay some people are gonna have certain romance uh ro- like romance options versus others and like rpgs and shit and so like i don't know it's it's real, yeah it's real simple to do her, the gender the like dual gender thing without it being fucking douchey is like i guess my woman point. or cycle too you know what i mean you gotta deal with a period and shit <laughs> you get a debuff during the game yeah, you get pregnant. Sure. For the next twenty minutes, you, you, you're you're having PMS. Yeah, you gotta take a, you, you, you you gotta, you take take a pregnancy test. test. Your trigger yeah, finger is a lot happier <laughs> for the next twenty minutes. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Um, let's do some good cunt, bad cunt. In a world where there are cunts of all types, good cunt, bad cunt. Move this fucking puppy along. You know, speaking of um, gender stuff that I don't know if it matters to be in there or not, what do you think of this, though? DC's new Superman, John Kent, comes out as bisexual. Mm. Who the hell is John Kent? Lois and Kent. Uh, 
Clark Kent's son, John Kent, and he's got a bisexual okay. relationship with this uh, Asian fellow. I don't give a shit. Once they start getting into like the son and the grandson and the fuck, like who I gives a fuck shit. about these characters? I don't give a flying fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Yeah, For I real, mean, bro, have, have like, John have John Kent have a fucking like Romeo and Juliet storyline with Lex Luthor's son or so, something. So, like so you love. saying this is not Superboy, but the other Superboy? This is this is this is the this is the actual Superboy, but not the clone Superboy. Uh, it's yeah. This I believe that this is. Um, let's see. Hang on, we can. So find this it. is the son of Superman, but not Superboy, not the clone. Um, let's see. Right? Jonathan Samuel Kent, John Kent is. The firstborn son of Kryptonian superhero Superman and news reporter Lois Lane. He fought crime alongside okay. his father as the okay, okay, Superboy. So it is Superboy. Yeah, but it's not the actual Superboy. Maybe this is him. This is when he's grown up. No, 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 no. Because the, the, the actual Superboy is a clone of Superman and of uh, Lex Luthor. Oh, really? Interesting. Yes. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, this must be the actual legit first son of Lois and Clark, and he came out as bi, and he's with this. Yeah, Asian. bro. I mean, can you imagine I getting your asshole bombed out about Superman? Super like, boy. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> it's like, uh, you, you, like, how do I put it? It's like if if there was like a, a super smash of like DC Marvel characters, it's like. It's like, yeah, I don't care once we start getting to, like, the Mr. Game and Watches of the fucking, like, who gives a sh Oh, yeah, dude, this is, you, oh, John Kent Superman? You mean, like, the ice climbers of fucking DC Universe? Like, suck my dick. Nah, I don't give a shit. Like, and, and can I, I be care. honest? I, I don't care. I don't yeah, care. It's just. Good for him. You know, this is what I hate about it, right? Is it's like, and I don't know. But like, I assume the writers were just putting this in here as like a hey, cool plot twist or something like that. And I feel like oh. it's it's just getting blown up to be this like check it out, Superman fucking. Yeah. And and it's like guys, who a gives a shit? Like a there's a book on the way. They're not they're, they're they're bisexual people. They're no different than fucking anyone. Like I don't understand why we have to treat people different. Like they're all the same. Great. So now, if his dad came out as bisexual, now well, that would be fucking news. That would be if wild. Superman. If Clark had a boyfriend on the side, like if Clark, Lois Clark, Clark and Bruce like banging a guy, Clark, yeah. Clark and Bruce were getting it on in the cave. Exactly. I mean, it's now that would be news. It's like when I, it's just when I see this stuff and they sensationalize it like this, I just go like, does does is this part of the plot? Like, is, is there something in this plot line where it's like, oh, he has to fucking kiss a dude to save the universe? Like, you know, what I mean, it's like, what what is? John Kent being bisexual have fucking anything he to do a, with the story. He has a book on the way. That's all. He has a book on the way? What do you mean? This is just probably just some news to stir up for his new book on the way. You know, his new title. Maybe he has a look, Superman, son of Kal El, number five. See, told you the upcoming Superman. Yeah, but but that's what I, but that's what I mean though, is it's just like does there's not is there I'm gonna saying be something the pivotal? book is probably doing shit. And numbers is probably selling oh, like oh, shit. Oh, so you're saying so they're doing this just as the pump up? Yeah, because like who's listening to Son of Five, Son of Cal L number five? Like fuck off. Right. Um, I think it's good cunt because it was probably meant as a good thing. I think it's just uh, I think the media and stuff are bad cunt by trying to make this into a big deal. It's also like it's he's bisexual. He's not gay. I don't give a fuck. Like, can we stop giving a fuck about bisexual people? It's so fucking ridiculous. Like how much they want like a bisexual person is like they so badly want the accolade of being gay or different, but like they're not. And it's just like, hey, man, you fuck pussy and you <laughs> suck dick. Good for you, dude. You're like a vampire. <laughs> You want to, do you fuck dogs too? Like who gives a shit, man? <laughs> nah, like, nah. Just call just start calling bisexual people greedy. It's like you just greedy. Yeah, you just, you just like both. Yeah. You're just greedy. You're not special. You didn't like that. People you're weren't not special. We're just greedy. People aren't throwing bisexuals off roofs and setting them on fire, you piece of shit. Like, yeah. like uh, I went to an uh, the, the like I've been to like two or three open mics here in New York, not to perform, but just to go like with friends and like watch like cause they were performing shit. And I mean, like, dude, the last one I went to I, I fucking I would have taken a gun out and, and suck started it. J if I swear to God, if I heard another white woman make a joke about how they they're bisexual or they found out during pandemic that they're bisexual, it was like, 
oh, I'm not exaggerating, at least five female comics in a row, all white, made like the exact same setup of like, it was either I'm bisexual or I found out and realized I'm bisexual in pandemic. And it was just like, how do you not hear the four before you make that fucking joke and you take it out and do something different, you dumb fucking cunt? Oh my God. You know, in fact, they're the, the white women are the, are the bad cunts here. I'm, somehow it's a white woman's fault. This fucking news story about John Kent, bisexual Superman, is a fucking big <laughs> deal. I'm telling you. Uh, I don't know, man. John Kent. I, I just it was my first time hearing it as a kid, but whatever. Now this one, uh, this is just magical. Uh, hashtag dear white people showrunner Jacqueline P. Moore, who, as you can see below, looks like Lena Dunham, got in even a more tragic accident with an ugly stick. Um, announced Wednesday she would be boycotting Netflix over Dave Chappelle's transphobic new special. She opened up to Variety's Mark Malkin about why she's taking a stand against the dangerous rhetoric. Now, this bitch is fucking ugly. She's got a witch's nose and the face of Lena Dunham. It's terrible. Now, I saw Dave Chappelle, Mohegan Sun. It was the same special, uh, but I watched him perform it. Fucking hilarious. Um, and it basically talks about, like, if you find him transphobic, then it probably means like you read like one article that a person like 20 years ago wrote because they were butthurt about one joke at a show and not and and these people that want to call him transphobic they conveniently leave out or didn't listen to the special long enough where he talks about his friend um what was her fuck it hey babe what was what was the name Daphne talks about his friend Daphne who was trans that that he was really close with like he had her open for him a couple times for stand up and shit and like she came out in support of Dave just being like I'm trans Dave has never made me feel like terrible or anything like that he's like a great ally I don't know why all of you are being shitty and they like harass Daphne to the point where she killed herself and so like yeah I can see why Dave Chappelle would would probably think a lot of you are fucking pieces of shit because you harassed one of your own until they killed themselves because they didn't agree with the dumb rhetoric you were saying it's like I'm so sick of this fucking dumb fucking offended bullshit like dude if you get offended ram it up your fucking cunt because I'm just so sick of the crybaby bullshit dude oh Dave Chappelle said bad words then kill yourself dude fucking kill yourself if dave chappelle's words hurt you that much guess what dickhead you've got a pretty privileged life because life is not fucking great for a lot of people so the idea that fucking dave chappelle's words crumble your whole existence just kill yourself and save us the waste of having oh, to deal with such a, a, a weak-minded cunt dude don't kill yourself i mean I it's, just, it's, go to, just go to bed sleep on it tomorrow it's will be a fine day. sleep it don't off go about. tuck it go have drink some warm milk and have mommy tuck you in you fucking cunt ugh it's, so, it's, it's so fucking it's words, dude. It's fucking it's words. It's a joke. It's not for you. You don't like it. You don't find it funny. It wasn't for you, dickhead. Go listen to some fucking hilarious trans comedians. I'm sure every bit of their material that's going to be just about their fucking identity and nothing else. I'm sure it's going to be so interesting. Just like ones. every white woman talks about how because... hard it is to be a woman. And every gay dude wants to talk about, oh, gay. Like, hey, guess what? There's a bunch of gay comics who are fucking hilarious and they they don't even want to talk about the fact that they're gay or so, if they so or if they do or if they do it's a subsect of their act and not their entire listen, identity Joey, shut the fuck up what's 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 people's like what's the trans guy's expectations like like what does he expect to like when he watches dave Chappelle to relate to something to relate as a black man it gets pulled over by 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 police or something and or 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 a black man that drinks beer and hangs out with his friends and Crack jokes and shit. Like, what do you expect as a trans man to relate to when you go watch a fucking Cat Williams or a fucking Dave Chappelle special? Like, I mean, I kind of like, think it's racist, honestly, the way a lot of these trans people are acting. Because, like, how would it be any different than if I was like, hey, you know what? I don't like all this Dave Chappelle material that he's saying that's like pro black and he's like, you know, shitting on white people. And like, I like, it's just like, you know, I would sound like a fucking, uh, like sitting on cops yeah fucking. yeah like like dude he's like you could be you could be everyone. pro police you could be trans and pro police who knows yeah you i know? mean and, they, and and the dave Chappelle joke about police might not sit well with you so now that's bad now that he's shitting on cops is bad dude it's Come like on. if a comic says anything that makes you shut down like that's just not the comic for you don't be a little fucking pussy 
I mean, I, you know, I, I, I've been to, I've been to comedy shows with my conservative dad and I've watched them like, you know, comics do like Trump jokes and stuff. And like, you know, he was, he was a Trump supporter and like, you could see in his face, he wasn't really like, you know, having the best of time at that moment, but it's not like he stormed out or was like, Hey, you know what, buddy? Don't talk about my president. Like, ah, rah, rah. like, it's just like, you just fucking shut up and you wait for the next thing that does make you laugh or the next. It's not because he's does. not fucking crazy, but you best believe there's people out there. That do shit like that. For sure. For sure. But it, it, it's, it's just, and that it's goes fun. both ways. That goes yeah. both ways too, because it's, it's this crazy. Idea. Yeah, because well, both sides have this fucking whole attitude yeah. of like, oh, you have to subscribe to 100% of what we're saying or you're an asshole. I mean, my buddy Max that I had back in Boston, he was fucking everything on paper. Liberal, liberal. liberal, liberal as fuck, yeah. with the exception of guns. He's fucking, yeah. from, his dad's from Serbia. They, he's, he, they like guns. He's a big gun supporter. Kind of crazy. Yeah. And dude, the, he, he, he's, like, guns. he's like the amount of people that were like liberal that I work with or something like that, that would just write me off as like a right wing piece of shit, literally just because of the gun thing. He's like, I support trans people. I support this. I support like, you know, police getting like revved out, like all of the stuff they subscribe to literally just doesn't agree with them about guns. And to them, they're like, Nope, you're right wing. <sighs> and it's like, really? He's right wing just because of guns. It's like, okay. All right. <laughs> I just, dude, everyone's such a fucking piece of shit. Literally, if you don't like the Dave Chappelle thing, delete me. Cram it up your fucking asshole. Go suck a fart out of your mom's ass. Blow me. <laughs> You're a bad cunt. Anyone didn't like that special? Bad cunt. I haven't even seen it yet. So. Oh, it's phenomenal, dog. Um, all right. Good cunt, bad cunt. This fucking lady and the person she's getting into it with. No audio. Do you have audio or is it just no audio? Oh, did the audio not come? Hang on. I got you. Sorry. Let me put this. Let me take one airpiece on. In case it's super loud. Dude, she almost falls over calling him a shit. <laughs> New York City. I love how the trains are packed with all the COVID. Oh, delicious. Bathe me in COVID. The Asian woman did the right thing. Yeah. This is, really okay, ready? Me. Ready? This, let everyone, this is why white women suck. This is why people hate white people. Why, I just Everyone understand the culpability of what's going on. This man that hit her, I don't even think... Oh, he's the one that she's yelling at originally. You're she, she's yelling at this bigger black dude back there. This guy steps forward and goes, miss. Like he literally goes, hey, miss. Like he's trying to reason with her and she bops him in the face with this iPad. Maybe he's just in her line of yelling. Like literally, watch, she, she's yelling. I'm pretty sure you can kind of see uh, from my cursor behind this guy standing in front. There's a taller black gentleman here. I think that's who she's yelling at. This guy walks up and he goes, hey, miss. And she goes, whap, and hits him right in the fucking nose with her iPad. And he goes, oh, fuck no. Bam. Wax her right back. Street justice. And then she tries to act. She goes, did you really just hit me? And she goes at him again. Watch. You're garbage. Ready? Stop. Miss. Stop. Stop. Miss. Bam in the face. Hit her in the face. And then, and then everyone's being like, whoa, at him. And he's like literally pleading with them like dog she just hit me in my face like what do you want from me hey, hey, hey. and then she you see that she just clocked him again with an ipad that's assault with a deadly weapon mm -hmm. and then he fucking goes now we're playing bitch did you really just hit me hey hey, hey then she tries stop. to hit that one no, Oh shit. Are you fucking stupid? This is the guy she was trying to fight. So he comes over. Yeah. There's your food everywhere, dummy. Stop! Stop! You got in my face! You piece of shit! You could have water her face? <laughs> Dude. I love this interaction. I mean, like, 
this is the thing, right? I'm very happy, actually, that no one is standing up to help this bitch. You want to fucking run your mouth. You want to fucking tee off at a giant another. Like, this is really like, I hate to say it, but. What is going on in this world? Dude, this is this is classic. This is this is like the, the classic story Patrice used to tell. I mean, there, uh, there's, there's nothing really else to the video. She sits there and bleeds on herself and fucking. Then she tries to like talk it to this guy and she keeps flinging it. See, now she's flinging it. This is the last thing that she's doing. She, okay, without a doubt, this lady's a cunt. She's fucking sitting here. She's trying to plead at this person who is sitting across from her. And then she starts wiping her blood off her face and like flinging it at him. Dude, now if I'm that guy that got blood flung on me, now I'm hitting a woman. Because, bitch, if you just flung blood on me in COVID, I'm going to punch you in your fucking mouth. Like, I'm going to knock this bitch out. This this would be everyone. The time I would hit a woman and it would get caught on, on film would be this. A woman flinging her fucking blood on me when I'm not even trying. Look at this, right? Oh, these people, when she sits down, not even trying to talk to this bitch. Okay. She gets. You are so messed up. Dude, she got water all over her face. She's screaming. Crazy bitch. Like, like if I'm this guy across from her, I'm like, lady, no offense. Like, can you mind your own fucking business? Stop talking to me. I would hate to be these people. And then look at, that. she's flinging her blood at them. And then she's trying to have an attitude at the men on the train being like, thanks for having my back. Bitch, it's not my job to get in a fight for you. Fuck this lady. I'm I, like, fuck the entitlement of fucking women. Oh, it's our job to step in because you want to fucking run your mouth against a guy that could beat your fucking ass. Ugh. Yeah, white women in New York are kind of crazy, man. They're kind of fucking terrible, dude. Uh, we, we have the... Uh... I almost hit a couple of them because they're just crossing the street on green lights and shit like they fucking own the street. Yep. And then fuck. they give you attitude. Then they that's what gets me, yeah. right? It's like, I get, hey, you're fucking in your own world. You mess up fine. But when you give me the attitude when you're the one that's being then a fucking that cunt. Oh, dude. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't play that shit, dude. Sick of it. Sick of white women. We need to we need to take the fucking power away from white women. So was that a good cunt or a bad cunt? No, know. that bitch is a bad cunt. What those those gentlemen, oh. uh, good cunts. While they hit a woman, <laughs> dog, I I'm I I I subscribe to the same mentality that uh, man, it, like, do not put your fucking hands on a person <laughs> unless you're ready to throw down with that person. I would never if it, oh if you and I were just out, I would never go fucking just up to another person and punch him in the face. And assume that like, oh, okay, oh, it's gonna get my back. This isn't a problem. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Yeah, I got your back, but fuck. But, but but then, yeah, yeah, you got my back. But then when it's over, you're gonna beat my ass for fucking getting you into a fight that I fucking was not called for. It's just like, lady. Oh, look at you, like, are you crazy? Yeah, be responsible for your fucking actions, bitch. Ani knows not to fucking get into some fucking argument with some big motherfucker in the street because I'll just keep walking. Like, you want to get into a fight with a motherfucker? You fight him. I'm not getting my ass wet because you want to fight a motherfucker. Fuck that. This lady's a bad cunt. I'm glad she got punched in her fucking dumb face. And uh, maybe she'll learn better, but she probably won't because she still had an attitude like the men around her should have stepped in to save her from her fucking retardum. Fuck her. Um, okay, this one... <laughs> I guess this is technically good cunt, bad yeah. cunt. What's up? No, I'm looking at my nails. I oh. need to cut them shits, talking to myself. <laughs> yeah, you got some long nails, dog. This one's more so. funny, but it's technically a good cunt, bad cunt. <laughs> All right. Is this lady a good cunt, bad cunt? Some buck. 
Uh, I, I, uh, I thought that was so fucking great. I mean, <laughs> I've definitely been there before where you just got the phone going and then the fucking like, click, all right, what's up, boys? I'm fucking going to toss me the ball. <laughs> I mean, that girl is, uh, you know, obviously we don't know the full context of the story. She's a little spitfire, isn't she? Woo, emotions running that bitch. Um, yeah. I mean, kind of crazy. I definitely wouldn't let my friends film a meltdown like that but i mean given that kind of emotion shout out to the guy guy, though for letting go for letting go that kind of crazy good for him yeah dude that dude that is so much better off and you know what i bet his fucking kill death ratio just went up i drop a salute for you sir that's not that's not the same guy in the conversation but no yeah yeah, i know but yeah um i'm sure we've all been there yeah i know i have um, I don't really have in any of two K game. <laughs> oh, God. In the middle of a two K game, just dunking on somebody. <laughs> I don't really have any uh, am I grosses this week, but I do have one more video. It's kind of like a, I don't know. It's kind of like a between a am I gross and a good cunt, bad cunt. What do you think about this, though? Lighten yourself on fire. Why? I mean, I'll be honest. I don't know about. I don't, I don't really get it. I don't know how that's not burning his fucking head. Was he going bald anyway? I don't know, but isn't that going to just burn your head either way? I don't really get that. I don't get lighting oneself on fire. I've never understood that. Like the, I, I fucking hold a lighter for too long. My finger gets hot. I think I'll light that's, that's our ugh, ugh moment that's of the, the week. Ugh of the week. Sh- yeah. Unshockingly white ugh. person. Unshocking. Nah, probably a Mexican. You think Mexican? Half half Mexican, half white. It's fair. Those are the real crazies. Yeah. You got the best of yeah. both worlds in that shit. Uh-huh. You got a little bit of the cartel, a little bit of the clan. <laughs> got together. God damn it. <laughs> A little, a, bit, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Look, I'll make on B. Keep that shit yeah, up tight. You know. Oh, shit. Well, let's do, uh, why don't we do plugs and we'll put a red ribbon on this bitch. We should have plugged at the beginning. Maybe I we know. Should we edit forget this every fucking the, time. Let's put the plugs in the beginning. It, you know, our, our on-screen plugs always come up on screen, though. So, like, if they don't know who we are by now, they can suck my dick. Oh, man. Um, and if you listen for this long, you're a magical person. We love you. Yeah, I mean, you can check me out here every week on STC and um, all your podcast platforms. That's where you can find us every week on YouTube and on Spotify and Apple. And then you can find me on OvertimeOften.com. And that's it. Oh, yeah, guys. Follow me on all social media. It's Irish O'Neill. The SDC podcast on social media. Give us a five star review on iTunes. Rate, share it. Helps us out a ton. Check out too much content. Too much content live, and uh, we got a bunch of fun stuff coming out. There's a new pod class that's coming out this week, and everything should be a good one on Signal Flow. Ooh, so check all that shit out, guys, and uh, stay what cunts. Peace.